You know, many people in our area under extraordinary stress following the storm. And for children, the aftermath can be especially scary. By following some important tips, parents can help put their kids at ease. Dr. Sapna Parikh is here in our newsroom now to explain. Sapna. Well, the most important thing is your own reaction. Easier said than done, but if you are calm, they will be too. And to help make that happen, we have some recommendations for you, plus a little advice from some familiar characters. What about my nest? Like many people in our area, Big Bird's home is a mess after the hurricane. In this online video, the Sesame Street characters help lessen the stress for children. Don't worry, Big Bird, we're all going to help you and we're going to fix it. When helping your kids deal with the storm, the first step is to find out what they're thinking and follow their lead. For young children, drawing pictures of the hurricane adventure may help. If they ask questions, don't hide the truth or they'll make up answers based on imagination. Keep the language simple and as best you can maintain a normal routine and get kids involved in the cleanup. Small, easy tasks can give them a sense of control and it's a good lesson in teamwork. I'm a very sorry about Big Bird's nuts too. I'm going to help fix it up. And if your kids are having trouble sleeping, Elmo shared some good advice on Good Morning America. Elmo had his baby David. Baby David helped Elmo sleep, and a familiar stuffed animal may help your children sleep also, even if you're staying with friends or family. And they may also need reassurance on the next windy day that another hurricane is not coming anytime soon, we hope. If you want a link to that Sesame Street hurricane video series, I posted it on my Facebook page. Liz and David, back to you. Really fantastic that they did that.